As you may know, diabetes is a chronic condition affecting how your body uses blood sugar. And while a proper diet and exercise can help you manage this condition, it is also important to be mindful of the vitamins and supplements you take because they can have different effect on your body. Some supplements can interact with diabetes medications or affect blood sugar levels. So in this video, I would like to share with you why you need to avoid certain vitamins and supplements if you have diabetes. Hi, Jedosa the family here. Welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Before we start, keep in mind that I use the term vitamin as a broad or general term for dietary supplements, herbs and minerals. So, without further ado, the first supplement is niacin, also known as vitamin B3. Niacin is a common supplement that is used to raise high-density lipoprotein HDL cholesterol, sometimes called good cholesterol. However, many people don't realize that niacin can also have a big impact on blood sugar levels, which can be especially dangerous if you have diabetes. Niacin has been shown to raise fasting blood glucose levels, which is your blood sugar level when you are not eating. This can lead to serious complications, such as hyperglycemia. It is also worth noting that some multivitamins may contain other forms of niacin, such as nicotinic acid or nicotinamide. Even though the amount of niacin present in multivitamin is usually low, it is still important to speak with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any supplements or multivitamins, especially if you have diabetes. Number 2. St. John's Wort This is a popular natural supplement that people use for mood disorders. However, if you have diabetes, it's important to stay away from this supplement. St. John's Wort is well known for causing interactions with medications. It can have a big effect on how well other medications work. Most of the time, St. John's Wort makes your body get rid of medicine faster, which can make them less effective. This can be particularly concerning if you have diabetes because it can make it difficult to keep your blood sugar levels under control. But it can also make other medications stronger, which can cause more dangerous side effects. In addition, if you have heart disease and take blood thinners like Warfarin, Elquis, Pradaxa, and Xarelto, you should avoid St. John's Wort supplement due to an increased risk of bleeding. Number 3. Ginseng People have been using this herbal supplement for many years. It is believed to have a wide range of health benefits, including improved memory and cognitive function, boosting energy, and strengthening the immune system. However, if you have diabetes, it's important to avoid ginseng because it can potentially lower blood sugar levels too much. Recent research has shown that ginseng may have a blood sugar lowering effect in people with type 2 diabetes. It's also important to note that if you are taking diabetes medications and you want to start taking ginseng, you should talk to your healthcare provider first. As you already mentioned, ginseng can lower blood sugar levels, and when combined with diabetes medications, it can cause your blood sugar to drop too low. This can lead to symptoms of hypoglycemia, such as dizziness, fast heartbeat, and feeling hungry. It is also a good idea to have a source of fast-acting sugar on hand in case your blood sugar drops too low. Number 4. Ginkgo Biloba Ginkgo biloba is a supplement that has been used in a traditional medicine for centuries. It may help improve memory, relieve anxiety, and treat tinnitus or tinnitus, also known as ringing in the ears. However, a recent study has found that ginkgo biloba may raise blood sugar levels in people who take oral diabetes medications. The exact reasons behind this effect are not fully understood. But the findings suggest that ginkgo biloba may not be safe for people with diabetes. 
This is a serious concern for people with diabetes, as uncontrolled high blood sugar levels can lead to other health problems like heart disease, stroke, and kidney damage. So it is best not to take ginkgo biloba if you have diabetes. And there you have it. If you want to learn more about diabetes, then make sure to watch the video in the top right corner. In this video, we discuss the top vitamins to stop your diabetes complications. I will also leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for more health and wellness videos. Have a wonderful day. Bye.